surrounding neighborhood. Looks like there's a food bank across the street. Um, this is kind of a main road, but it's a little bit off the beaten path. Got to tear down a uh, block over here, um, but just mainly 1920s, 1930s homes. Some of your neighbors, uh, it looks like you got three renters next door. That property goes all the way back. And that brings you to the front of the house. This is 1134 Callow. Really pretty landscaping in front. All right. Nice long driveway like a one-car garage but you could probably fit three or four in this if you wanted deck nice to see we got splash guards with newer gutters and a newer roof same here You got above ground electricity, which is fine and more typical with these type of homes. Looks like single pane for that top window. And then we have newer vinyl double pane for these main windows. Side of house. We'll take a little bit better look on that side. Um, Typically, the south side of homes, we see a lot more uh, issues with siding. Um, this siding is older, but it does look pretty well, pretty good. Um, there's some areas up here above the roof I would definitely watch and want to get looked at. Um, but they look okay. Also, single pane window here in the front. Okay, so kind of making my way back around the north side of the house. We got French doors. Um, and then look at the roof here. Let's say it need to be cleaned most likely in the next year or so, but looking good. Um, still continuing along here. Vinyl double pane windows, a little bit of venting for the basement or crawl space. Really nice looking soffits and gutters again. All right, and the roof back here looks like it does need to be cleaned a bit. Um, I think it's going to be about the same age. Um, there's just a little tree back here and I think that little, I mean big tree, uh, but uh, I think that's what that debris is from. So just get a broom up there and knock it off. And then this is our garage. Okay, so entering the garage now. Um, solid one car, I'd say, plus a shop. Um, things are looking good in here. This is a darker wood. I don't see any signs. Maybe some past leakage from years ago, but it's, it's dry currently. Um, this has a smaller electrical panel out here, but it is wired. And these are standard Romex wires, so this isn't any kind of knob and tube or any kind of electrical that's that's dangerous from, from yesteryear. Um, GFI is out here. So, 
looking real good. Plenty of space. Yeah, you could probably add to that storage if you'd like as well. And this would be the side view of the neighbor's yard here. Uh, one more thing about the roof before I go in. Um, you see that kind of lip up there? There's nothing wrong with that. That's actually really good. That's venting. Um, a lot of these older homes didn't have any kind of venting for that area, so that basically uh, allows air to, to pass through and keep the space free of mold. So that looks really good up there. All right, updated electrical panel as you walk in the front door. 2018 inspection there. into living room. This is a uh, laminate hardwood flooring. Looks like it's in good condition. Living room area. Nice and bright. French doors as you saw coming in. We got quartz countertops. Beautiful kitchen here. Electric stove, microwave. Got venting above the microwave, which is awesome to see. Soft closed cabinets. a little closer look at the kitchen. We got the subway backsplash. Really nice job in here. All right, so exiting the kitchen, entering laundry room. This is a 50 gallon water heater. It appears to be brand new. This tag um, usually has a date on it, but this model, it has a specific serial number, so I'll ask about it. Um, but this all looks three years tops. So really good shape here. Washer and dryer connections look new and very clean. Leaving laundry room, heading into main bathroom, quartz countertops, the vanity, single sink, really good size. Got the subway tile shower, full tub. Shares a lot of nice uh, natural light as well. Okay, so leaving main bathroom, going into bedroom number two. This I'd say is about a 10 by 13 or 14 room. Windows are all updated in here. Nice little backyard and porch. Those are the neighbors in the backyard. All right, French door closet. Okay, headed into the main bedroom. doors to the backyard. 
about the same size, a little bit bigger, but you have this nice walk-in closet. Really nice. This is Castle, apparently. Um, out on the deck from the master here. Into the backyard. It's okay. This is the garage roof. This uh, siding is uh, not hardwood. Um, it's more of a manufactured material, but it looks like it's in really good shape. Um, this is a uh, drain from the gutters here. I'd say just watch that. I think that that water should be going somewhere else, but um, it could easily be uh, moved over here to the backyard. Um, but yeah, overall, just a little bit of cleaning. I think this one will be great. Coming around to that south side of the house. Um, this looks pretty good. Um, typically, this would be the side where the siding would be in rougher shape. Um, that piece looks like it needs a little work, but that might just be some bird or something like that. But above, it looks like there's a little bit of displacement. Um, I'd like to I'd like to take a look at that. Um, this is some uh, paint. Maybe some potential bubbling. Um, but this looks a lot better than than I thought it thought it would actually. Um, then kind of coming further down, this is your sewer clean out. Um, probably get a sewer scope in here. That runs out to the road. And then this is the side yard. Really awesome space. And this is the neighbor's garage that's right next door. Hey Dylan, um, just wanted to wrap up a bit on the Callow house. Uh, I highlighted a bunch of stuff in there, but overall you got a new roof, uh, new electrical, new plumbing in an older house uh, that's been completely redone. So really nice uh, place there. Um, I was able to talk to one of the sellers for just a second before I left and, and they seem to be very eager, willing. I, I think we might be able to get some closing costs covered with that too, as well as do an inspection. Um, there are some things I'd want to take a look at and some things to keep an eye on, but that's a really nice spot. Um, I think you may have to replace the siding in the next probably five to 10 years. Um, but other than that, um, looks like a nice solid place, about a mile from the base. Um, yeah, so let me know if you have questions.